Hi, welcome to Pathways of Hope. The Gospel reading for today is taken from the Gospel of John. And it goes, If I bear witness to myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who bears witness to me, and I know that the testimony which he bears to me is true. You sent to John, and he has borne witness to the truth. Not that the testimony which I receive is from man, but I say this that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and you were willing to rejoice for a while in his light. But the testimony which I have is greater than that of John. For the works which he, the Father, has granted me to accomplish, these very works which I am doing bear witness to me that the Father has sent me. And the Father who sent me has himself borne witness to me. His voice you have never heard, his form you have never seen, and you do not know, you do not have his word abiding in you, for you do not believe him who he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think that in them you have eternal life, and it is they that bear witness to me. Yet you refuse to come to me that you may have life. I do not receive glory from men, but I know that you have not the love of God within you. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not receive me. If another comes in his own name, him you will receive. How can you believe who receive glory from one another and do not seek the glory that comes from the only God? Do not think that I shall accuse you to the Father. It is Moses who accuses you on whom you set your hope. If you believe Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote of me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of Our Salvation The story is a conversation that Jesus was having with some of the religious leaders of his times who were Jewish leaders who believed in the testimony of the scriptures in the Old Testament. That is the story of uh, God's people written by Moses. And they could not accept the message of Jesus Christ. They could not accept that the Father in heaven sent his Son to reveal himself to them. They, they could not accept that. And Jesus, without any ambiguous statements declares to them the father sent me you were accepting john the baptist you were seeing his light but what i am presenting is greater than that of john the baptist and yet you do not accept at the very end he tells them i won't judge you Moses, the one that you pinned your hope on, the one who is your leader as a nation, who brought you out of Egypt, who wrote this testimony about God revealing himself to his people, he is the one who will judge you. If you did not believe his words, how can you believe? my words if you do not believe what was written in the old testament oh, why would you not then believe me if you do not believe what's written there then you will have a difficulty believing in me that's this conversation and you might say what's the meaning of this conversation for us christians today well, it's a reminder. God has revealed himself to his son. And we who have, follow, who have followed Jesus and have made a decision to live our lives for him are following the ways of God. But isn't it the case that sometimes when we realize that Jesus demands of us certain things in our life we tend to pick and choose ah lord uh, that's too much love your enemies 
pray for those who persecute you. Hmm. Lord, uh, I think uh, I don't like that word, that advice. But I think we need to be careful to pick and choose what to follow. Because Jesus is telling us the Father has revealed Himself through me. If you want to know the right way to live, my voice is the voice that you need to listen to. If you do not accept my teachings, mm, you might end up missing on the kind of life we're supposed to live. Yes, sometimes we are like the religious leaders. It's hard for us to believe that Jesus is the way, <laughs> the truth, and the life. We sometimes are blinded because what is being demanded of us is too much and too demanding. But we need to be patient with ourselves and we need to ask the grace from God as we recognize the different things that He demands from us. Because He is telling us, the Father sent me. Believe in my word. Hold on to it. And live according to my word. Let's pray that the Lord will give us the grace to be faithful to Him and to listen to Him. Speak to us and may his words encourage us to keep on living the kind of life we're supposed to live as disciples. God bless us.